Hi, Paul here from Trekit with Harry as usual and today uh, we stayed inside. We come upstairs in the Hereford shop to talk to you about some boots. And in particular, this one is the Scarpa Terra. Now the Scarpa Terra has been around in a couple of different versions for many years. It is uh, it's one of our best selling boots and I would hazard a guess to say it's one of the country's best selling walking boots. It's a, a lovely lightweight, comfortable leather boot. So you've got a full grain leather upper and as the label suggests, you've got a Gore-Tex lining. So you've got a belt and braces approach to protection and waterproofing. It's suitable for light country walking, light hill walking, nothing too serious. So if you're, uh, if you're walking on well-established paths or you're doing some country walking, you just want a lightweight and comfy boot that's going to um, not give you any hassles, not, not need any breaking in necessarily, just comfort straight out of the box, going to give you reliable waterproofing, comfort and support for light walking and hiking, then this is a boot you should consider. So, what is the Scarpa Terra GTX made from? Well, like I just said in the intro, it's uh, the upper is this really nice, high quality leather. It's got a slightly oiled finish to it, so it comes kind of ready proofed and ready to rock and roll. And then on the inside, you've got uh, a full gore membrane. It's worth pointing out uh, that the gore membrane itself doesn't come right to the top of the cuff. It finishes just a bit lower by the stitch line. We'll do a close up of this so you can see. But that does give you uh, belt and braces waterproofing. Leather in itself is inherently highly water resistant and provided you keep up your cleaning and your proofing regime, it will keep the majority of the water out. And then behind that, you've got the Gore-Tex membrane, giving you that kind of cast iron, 100% waterproof guarantee, and also allowing the sweat to escape if your feet are getting a bit hot in warmer conditions. So overall, a really nice protective, soft leather upper with that Gore membrane. And the big advantage of the soft leather as well is that these are comfortable straight out of the box. Um, they're really soft, squishy, comfy, no breaking in involved, no wearing in at all. Stick them on, go for a hike. So inside the boot, you get one of these, like you do in most boots, you get a footbed. And this is their comfort fit footbed. So it's got a layer of foam on the top, so it's nice and soft underfoot. You've got this kind of soft felty uh, material on the top which helps to wick the moisture away from your feet, feet help them dry out quicker. And then you've got, again, to help with the breathability, you've got kind of this felt layer on the bottom. So it's, uh, it's a much better offering than you would normally find in most boots. Normally you just get a you know, pretty um, rudimental piece of foam. This is, uh, this is a nice footbed. Good job, Scarpa. Well done. And then the bit that uh, you can't generally see, apart from the edge of it here, is the midsole. So the midsole sits between the upper of the boot and the outer sole, the black bit on the bottom. And this bit normally provides the structure and the stability of a boot, so it will define its, uh, its kind of use and the flex that you have around the boot. And as you can see, Scarpa Terra is a very flexible boot, but there is an element of support in there as well as a bit of spring. So as you walk, you're getting some energy rebound in there. And there's enough support in there to keep your feet comfortable over long distances. But it's not a stiff midsole, so it's not crampon compatible at all and not really suitable for sort of uh, steeper ascents, uh, rocky areas, steep ground. You want to keep on paths and keep to low level with these boot. And then running through the midsole is you've got this layer of PU, polyurethane, uh, and that acts as a cushion, again, underfoot, just to stop impact shock on the hard ground and uh, just to make the boot feel a lot more comfortable. The advantages of PU is that it is, uh, has no water absorbency, so it doesn't get heavy in the wet and it lasts a long time and that cushioning lasts for the whole life of the polyurethane itself. It doesn't degrade, so that comfort stays for the lifetime of the boot. Okay, right down the bottom, the black bit that makes contact with the ground, the outer sole, and in this case, Scarpa have stuck a ever reliable Vibram sole unit on the bottom. Vibram basically make sole units for just about every boot manufacturer and they uh, give you the confidence that you're gonna get a good hard wearing sole that combines, like I said, hard wearing, durability, but with good grip on mixed terrain. This is the Energy 2, Energy 2 uh, sole unit. Uh, really, I don't know why they call it an Energy 2, 
but they do. It's a, it's a multi-lugged, mildly aggressive sole unit, good self-cleaning properties. The lugs are multi-directional, so you get good grip uh, across all directions. And then you get a, a, a quite a nice little pronounced heel breast here, so that when you're descending, that catches into the soft ground, just gives you added stability coming downhill. So uh, yeah, a really nice little sole unit. It's a big improvement on the original and really does offer you that uh, sort of stable control, plenty of grip without clogging up too much. You'll notice as well, if I hold it this way, there's a slight roll to the sole unit. So the heel isn't square cut. It's got a slight roll to it. And there's a roll through the toe box as well. And that just helps when you're walking just with the heel strike to reduce strike impact here and to help you roll through your normal walking gait just to reduce fatigue and increase comfort. Okay, so what are the features of the uh, Scarpa Terra GTX? Well, like most footwear, to be honest, all of the features are really in the construction and the materials used to make the boots. But it's worth mentioning uh, the uh, speed pull laces at the bottom here. So you've got one, two, three, four eyelets down the bottom here. And as you pull the laces, they tighten up all the way through there, keeping a nice even lace pressure over the tongue. And then you've got a couple of quick lace hooks up at the top, which just make, the boot, make getting the boot on and off that much easier. So there's, that's your lacing. You've got a nice soft bellows area to the tongue. So the tongue pops out on bellows. So you've got a fully sealed, lovely soft leather used here, just to help that to sit nice and flat over the top of the foot without bunching up without adding undue pressure and the tongue itself is nicely padded and then round the top of the tongue and round the inside of the cuff here so they've got the contact area with your ankle they've used uh, a quick drying high wicking fabric just to help with that moisture control with the sweat and just to help with the comfort so yeah that's the features uh, not a massive feature set but really like i said it's all about the construction and the comfort of this boot Here at Trekkit, one of the first things you'll notice when you walk through the door at the Hereford shop on the right hand side is our mighty wall of footwear. We specialise here at the shop in particular in making sure we suit the model and select the model to match your feet. So we'll give you a full foot assessment, we'll take a full measurement, probably the first time you've had your feet measured since you went into a clerk shop when you're getting your school shoes. So we'll give you a full professional boot fit now we appreciate that not everyone can get to our little shop in Hereford, so we offer the same range online, and Harry will put a link up so you can have a look at the range. And we also appreciate that not everyone can get to the shop and experience one of our professional boot fits. So we've produced a video on our YouTube channel just giving you some help, some tips and advice to make sure you get that fit as close as possible before you make your purchase online. So go and have a browse, have a look at the footwear range, but even better, come and visit us here in Hereford and experience our boot fitting and our boot range for yourself. So, how do the Scarpa Terra GTX fit? Well, fitting is a, a very personal thing, uh, but just to give you some idea, I would normally take uh, a regular UK size 9 in most footwear and the size 9 or European 43 in the Terra fit me beautifully. Uh, there's enough room at the front of my toes to uh, reduce that dreaded toe bang on descent. They're not an overly wide fitting boot, so they're a regular fit boot, and they do have regular volume, so they're not a very deep boot around the toe box. They do have a nice snug heel. I got zero heel lift when I was wearing these. So a, a kind of a, a regular fit an easy regular fit. Now obviously uh, don't base uh, what I've just said on your on your buying. Really the best thing to do we would always recommend is to have a proper boot fit. Come to the Hereford shop if you can, spend some time with us, we do a full foot assessment and a boot fit. Or if that's just not feasible, check out our YouTube video uh, about how to uh, get your boot fit right when buying online. Uh, but overall, yeah, a, a regular fit boot, uh, and I would say if you have particularly wide feet, this isn't the boot for you, you're better off checking out maybe some of the Mindle Comfort Fit range.
So to summarize the Scarpa Terra GTX, it's, uh, it is your classic lightweight leather country walking, fell walking boot. Really comfortable straight out of the box, lovely soft leather, but be prepared to look after it. If you don't look after these bad boys, uh, the leather will split, it'll crack, it'll uh, let you down. So plenty of good regular cleaning, plenty of good reproofing. They'll last you for many years. Uh, really comfortable, good grip, well made, and from a trusted brand like Scarpa, that's what you'd expect. Uh, we sell an awful lot of these. They're a really popular boot, and provided the fit is right, and I know I keep banging on about that, but it's absolutely imperative. So provided the fit is right, they'll serve you for many years. Okay, so thanks very much for watching. That's the Scarpa Terra GTX. Harry will put a link up to the video, giving you some advice how to fit your boots at home. There'll also be a link on the page so you can go straight through and have a look at the product, fill out on some more details. And as ever, we would welcome any comments or questions. Pop them in the section below. And if you like our content, please subscribe. Always good to have you people on board and you'll get instant notifications when our new videos are loaded. Thanks very much. Toodaloo.